Well, let's keep an eye on this big number. No good here, folks. 132,000. That is the new daily average of COVID-19 cases in this country. That number is rising, still lower at this moment than at this time last year when daily cases were averaging 215 thousand daily cases but that's way up from what we've seen in recent yeah. weeks and months that is good perspective though at mm. least something positive and we're going to welcome of course dr darian sutton in for chief medical correspondent dr jen ashton today and dr sutton a little bit more encouraging news for those of us who got the materna moderna booster yesterday we heard about its effectiveness especially when it comes to the omicron variant what do we know Barry White is a great way to start the day. I agree with you, Amy. Thank so you. recently, Moderna has uh, released reports, basically, that shows that their booster shot is associated with a robust antibody response. And if, as you know, those antibodies are important for blocking the Omicron variant and all the other variants of COVID-19 and preventing infection. Uh, but unfortunately, this is just a laboratory study, so we have to see how this reflects in reality. But we can remain optimistic while staying cautious, and I'm really excited to see more of these results. All right, and Dr. Sutton, look, we're talking about how quickly Omicron has moved. What, uh, it was 3% of the cases a week ago. It's three quarters of the cases we're seeing now. Um, so people are bringing up, we talked about it so much uh, during the pandemic early on, herd immunity. Could this be leading us down that path? Excellent question, TJ, and I, I, I will admit that I asked the same, myself the same question, but it's really difficult to pinpoint herd immunity. It's kind of a moving target, to be honest with you, because the variables that we use to calculate it are ever-changing. If you think about the new variants that we're discovering, uh, waning vaccine immunity, uh, the significant portion of the community that remains unvaccinated, including children under the age of five who don't yet have access, and then variability and immune response to those who have been naturally infected. Dr. Sutton, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.